Chapter 13 David's son Absalom had a beautiful sister named Tamar, and Amnon, her half-brother, fell desperately in love with her. Amnon became so obsessed with Tamar that he became ill. She was a virgin, and it seemed impossible that he could ever fulfill his love for her. Now Amnon had a very crafty friend, his cousin Jonadab. He was the son of David's brother Shemir. One day Jonadab said to Amnon, What's the trouble? Why should the son of a king look so dejected morning after morning? So Amnon told him, I am in love with Tamar, Absalom's sister. Well, Jonadab said, I'll tell you what to do. Go back to bed and pretend you are sick. When your father comes to see you, ask him to let Tamar come and prepare some food for you. Tell him you'll feel better if she feeds you. So Amnon pretended to be sick, and when the king came to see him, Amnon asked him, Please let Tamar come to take care of me and cook something for me to eat. So David agreed and sent Tamar to Amnon's house to prepare some food for him. When Tamar arrived at Amnon's house, she went to the room where he was lying down so he could watch her mix some dough. Then she baked some special bread for him. But when she set the serving tray before him, he refused to eat. Everyone get out of here, Amnon told his servants, so they all left. Then he said to Tamar, Now bring the food into my bedroom and feed it to me here. So Tamar took it to him. But as she was feeding him, he grabbed her and demanded, Come to bed with me, my darling sister. No, my brother, she cried. Don't be foolish. Don't do this to me. You know what a serious crime it is to do such a thing in Israel. Where could I go in my shame? And you would be called one of the greatest fools in Israel. Please, just speak to the king about it and he will let you marry me. But Amnon wouldn't listen to her. And since he was stronger than she was, he raped her. Then suddenly Amnon's love turned to hate, and he hated her even more than he had loved her. Get out of here! He snarled at her. No! No! Tamar cried. To reject me now is a greater wrong than what you have already done to me. But Amnon wouldn't listen to her. He shouted for his servant and demanded, Throw this woman out and lock the door behind her. So the servant put her out. She was wearing a long, beautiful robe, as was the custom in those days for the king's virgin daughters. But now Tamar tore her robe and put ashes on her head, and then with her face in her hand she went away crying. Her brother Absalom saw her and asked, Is it true that Amnon has been with you? Well, don't be so upset. Since he's your brother anyway, don't worry about it. So Tamar lived as a desolate woman in Absalom's house. When King David heard what had happened, he was very angry, and though Absalom never spoke to Amnon about it, he hated Amnon deeply because of what he had done to his sister. Two years later, when Absalom's sheep were being sheared at Baal Hazor near Ephraim, Absalom invited all the king's sons to come to a feast. He went to the king and said, My sheep shears are now at work. Would the king and his servants please come to celebrate the occasion with me? The king replied, No, my son. If we all came, we would be too much of a burden on you. Absalom pressed him, but the king wouldn't come, though he sent his thanks. Well then, Absalom said, If you can't come, how about sending my brother Amnon instead? Why Amnon? the king asked. But Absalom kept on pressing the king until he finally agreed to let all his sons attend, including Amnon. Absalom told his men, Wait until Amnon gets drunk. Then at my signal, kill him. Don't be afraid. I'm the one who's given the command. Take courage and do it. So at Absalom's signal they murdered Amnon. Then the other sons of the king jumped on their mules and fled. As they were on their way back to Jerusalem, this report reached David. Absalom has killed all your sons. Not one is left alive. The king jumped up, tore his robe, and fell prostrate on the ground. His advisers also tore their clothes in horror and sorrow. But just then Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemiah, arrived and said, No, not all your sons have been killed. It was only Amnon. Absalom has been plotting this ever since Amnon raped his sister Tamar. No, your sons aren't all dead. It was only Amnon. Meanwhile, Absalom escaped. 
Then the watchman on the Jerusalem wall saw a great crowd coming toward the city from the west. He ran to tell the king, I see a crowd of people coming from the Horonaim road along the side of the hill. Look, Jonadab told the king. There they are now. Your sons are coming, just as I said. They soon arrived, weeping and sobbing, and the king and his officials wept bitterly with them, and David mourned many days for his son Amnon. Absalom fled to his grandfather Talmai, son of Amahud, the king of Gishur. He stayed there in Gishur for three years, and David, now reconciled to Amnon's death, longed to be reunited with his son Absalom.